Check out those white flat pumpkins, those are cool. We're just doing our farm stand crawl in the area. Colors are changing as usual. Picking up butternut squash. From right there. Probably. Just thought I'd show you our neck of the woods. It's around the corner from our house. We just went to the last farm stand. They're already packed up for the season. They even mowed down their um, field in back of they the building. We could take. No, but it looks like they're ripening the tomatoes on the table in the back. So. No. I don't need to be. I don't. I'm not in the business of making applesauce. Are you gonna go to Penny? Yeah. Look how gorgeous that is. I really have to come back with my Nikon. It's we're supposed to get a freeze this weekend. But oh. 31 degrees. We'll enjoy this while we have it. Hey! Uh, it doesn't matter how upset I could be with Polly, he could still make me laugh. Over the stupidest things, like hey. Oh, oh look at that perfect tree. Wow. Yeah, we live in a pretty area, I admit it. It's a lot of beautiful places. Oh my god, I can't stop yawning today. I'm so sorry, so sorry. Oh my gosh, did you yawn? Did you yawn? <laughs> Looks like it's gonna rain too. So we got some tomatoes, butternut squash, uh, some corn. So we're gonna do a veggie meal tonight. I need to take a. I need to give my kidneys a break from um, animal proteins. Well, for all harvest meal. Yes. I'll roast up. Oh, look at how gorgeous that is. Sun kissed. Um, I'll roast up the. Butternut squash, the one of the red sweet potatoes, um, an onion, a little caramelized onion, and you want me to just put the corn on the cob in there too? Yeah. Okay. Throw it in a, in a foil. Throw it in, I don't know. You probably don't even need to do that. What? Throw it in a foil. No, probably not. But there's the field of sunflowers. I think John owns that field. You think so? Yeah. I really do. So he's just amending the soil by plowing them out under? Oh, some lady picking them. Oh, is there? Yeah. And there's a bunch right here, too. See right, right there? Yeah. On the side of the road? Oh, those are still okay. Those are nice. If somebody wants to bring me sunflowers tomorrow, they can. Huh. There's a driveway right there. Just saying. Look. Clippers are underneath the seat. <laughs> are they? I don't know. But they used to be. <laughs> I'm, I'm an easy girl to make happy. What can I say? I'm not high maintenance. It's one of the things I think Polly appreciates about me, right? Yeah. Now, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but and I think you would, you would have a challenging time if you had somebody who you were in a relationship with that was high maintenance. I did. You did? You've had high maintenance girlfriends? Oh, take me to lobster. Take me to lobster. Mm. I need lobster every Friday and Saturday. Why? Well, so I, I am easy at that. $80 on lobster every fucking weekend. Mm. I got so sick of lobster at one point, and now I know. Now I can't do that. Well, at least you live in the right uh, end of the country for a lobster. Mm. Right? No? Alright, we'll swing by Mark's. That's our Polly's chicken friend. He's a retired postal worker, right? No. No? Is I, he? Thought, I thought he was a retired postal worker. Yeah, no. Yeah. No. He worked for the town of um of Vernon. He did? Yeah. Oh. Well he's re he is retired wherever I mean he doesn't work full time anymore, right? So he just Polly, it's only twenty five here, honey. I don't know, yeah. I know you're following the vamps. 
does your spouse make that kind of connection that when you point out that they're going above the posted speed limit that they're just following traffic or following the car in front of them because i certainly hear it often enough did the house sell is that new owners or did they take it off the market they take it off the market yeah look at all these there's a lot of houses for sale around here what well, happens periodically Except that it's a corner and it's a raised ranch, and I hate raised ranches. Sorry, no offense to anyone who lives in a raised ranch. I, my parents had one, and I found that the use of space was just not optimal. Their lower level, lower level barely ever got used, so they essentially didn't use half their house. So, what's the point? Although, it's not like we use our basement, but our two living spaces are used. Oh, I missed the view. Yeah. Bugger, I missed the view from up the hill. Oh well. So this is Mark's and his old ladies. They have <laughs> Oh, they do. So we just pulled in the house and I just noticed that our tree, um, I was totally not noticing out the bedroom window and upstairs bathroom window how quickly this turned. Like, the mulberry is still all green, but this one is just turning orangey red. And the chickens are retiring, I guess, next week. To a free range facility. Teddy and Chester playing chuck it. Not so much playing, but Teddy chases. Hey, Teddy, go, go get it. Yeah, Chester's not a big fan of Teddy. Teddy! Come on, Chester! Come on! Come here! Teddy! Teddy! <laughs> oh, scragglers. Yeah. Where are you going? I saw him fly that way. We're today. heading south. See ya. I saw him fly towards Canada today. Really? Yeah. Aren't they Canadian geese? <laughs> Check out those gorgeousness going in the oven. Butternut squash, red bell pepper, a couple of poblanos, uh, sweet Vidalia onions, a beautiful white flush sweet potato or a yam, some uh, cherry peppers. Yum! Just gonna drizzle some uh, grapeseed oil, salt, black pepper, and then pop in these two corns as well. So we're starting up dinner with a really big tossed salad. It has Romaine, um, iceberg, cucumber, tomato, Vidalia onions, mm. fresh bell pepper, one of the little ones we picked up from the farm stand, tomato, uh, Kalamata olives, and the olive garden dressing. Tomatoes. Oh, and radishes. So we're going to enjoy that, and then I'll show you what our plate of roasted vegetables mm. looks like. But this is our starter. Which, it could be a meal on its own. <laughs> it's delicious. So that's what the pan looks like all out of the oven. Caramelized little peppers. I did have to pull off the butternut squash and cook just ever so slightly longer, about 20 minutes longer. So you want it to be fork tender. So I'm just gonna wipe down our salad plates and serve up dinner and I'll show you what it looks like. And there's mine. I forgot to show you corn. We had corn too. So corn, peppers, onions, um, sweet potato, and butternut squash. Yum. Look at that deliciousness. So that's going to be it for us for today. If there's anything left over, it'll be soup tomorrow, and I'll share with you then. Uh, maybe not. Thanks for watching, everyone.